So autofocus still doesn't work. But exam examine very carefully, you can see there's a lot of rust here because of the water. There's a lot of creating a lot of circuits problem here. So this one has to be cleaned up. Wow. Remove the cover, you can see that there's a lot of dust, a lot of rust here. So. The circuit board, I think, I have a feeling it might damaged. Let's further uh, disassemble this lens. Oh, there's another screw hiding here. Okay. So I decide to uh, solder these two uh, uh, two pins, the pin three and four, and uh, uh, two and three, four and five. So that means uh, the autofocus is always on, and also uh, the focus distance is one point eight to infinity. I also find out that because the previous owner tried to open it and not only break the this switch. But also, there's a small cut in the wires at the back. So I decide to uh, using this blue wire solder from this pin all the way down to here to fix that uh, um, image st stabilizer wire. Let's see how it works. So the lens still, uh, after I put everything back, looks like it still doesn't work. So I can tell uh, the image stabilizer works perfectly, um, but the only problem is autofocus, um, it doesn't turn it on. So autofocus, this is the USM model. Uh, the USM model should be driven, driven by, because connected by those four wires, goes to here. And uh, if you look at those uh, uh, 12 wires, so the, the eight of them on the left side, the very thin one, all the control wires, like the image stabilizer, like the uh, autofocus on, like the, the other things, the focus range. And the four big wires on the right side, this is the, the motor driven. The motor driven from here, all the way the big buyer, the big, uh, the big wire goes to uh, this one. And if you look further, those wires are pretty large ones. Uh, eventually goes to here. You have, as you can see, those transistors. Um, this is uh, the ICs to drive in the USM model. I think that's pretty makes sense. I think if there's anything wrong here, combines uh, my previous my uh, previous when I open this barrel, uh, I can see a lot of those uh, damage in this area. So I have a strong feeling. The autofocus doesn't work. It is because these um, these transistors. If I look at it here, everything this I see looks like uh, well. It's maybe I, I don't know. It should be okay, but uh, this is the one that first goes to here. I think that is the um, um, suspect my most suspect part uh, that makes uh, the the autofocus fail here. As this, in fact, I point to these uh, transistors.
When I rotate this USM model, I can feel a lot of uh, stuck here. Um, the USM model, so I think that uh, um, might have a lot of the rust inside. So um, that also causing extra overload to those circuits, plus those circuits are also damaged. So I think everything combined together fails uh, autofocus. So when you install this uh, barrel, you have to put uh, this one on, there's a three on the, the dent on the USM. Uh, this will be the manual focus ring. So because when this one is hooked up to the outside ring, when you do the manual rotate, then the manual rotate will twist the USM. So they uh, uh, do the, the manual focus job. The final part is that since I damaged all those uh, the screw here, so I have to find a way to put this uh, uh, the ring back. If you look at it here, this is made of metal. There's no way that I can drill a hole that I can put this one and nail this to it. The workaround I find out is since this one is plastic, and if you look at the lens here, the front elements, the front lens here, they have six screw here. The workaround I have is just to remove one of the, utilize one of the hole here, and uh, I drill, drill an extra small hole here and use a long, very long screw just to nail down to this part. So I re replace this one with a long screw. So make a hole here. I find a very long screw here. Let's give it a try. Yeah, this one is perfect, but looks like it's too long. So I think I have to cut it. I think like this should be good. Now it's perfect. Everything is smooth. Looks nice. Put the ring. Okay, that's for today. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel for other cool videos. Thank you for watching.